Hey there, Marion Elementary. This is Mr. Davis, and we are starting our Day 11, Lesson 11 reading task. And you can see here on my screen that I have pulled up the reading choice tic-tac-toe board that you should find in your packet. If you don't have it in your packet, that's perfectly fine. I will put it at the end of the stories that we do this week, so you can pause the screen there to be able to complete the questions. It says, choose three questions in a row to complete. These questions can be used for any fiction or nonfiction book. So you can see here they have a tic-tac-toe board for fiction and a tic-tac-toe board for nonfiction. And the way that we'll do that each day for the next two weeks, I'll be reading you a story and you can kind of select from those questions to complete that tic-tac-toe board and get those things going with that. And I look forward to seeing how you've answered those questions to some of these books. So I'm going to read the book to you starting today, and that book will be coming up just shortly. Hi there, Marion Elementary students. Mr. Davis here. We're getting ready to do our story for this week, and that we'll be reading. You might not be able to see me as I turn the pages, but you'll be able to hear me read the story. The story that we're going to be doing this week is The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Feister. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. Isn't that a beautiful fish and how fun that is to have those sparkly scales? The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, the little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, she called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he would swim by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish, but if you go beyond the coral reef to the deep cave, you will find the wisest octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I've been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into the dark cave of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shiny scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly he felt the light touch the one of the fins. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered one very, very small shimmery scale 
he thought, well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bumbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he lost, last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possession had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy and a splash, he swam off to join his friends. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. It was one of my favorites, and there's a good lesson to be learned there. And so let's think about that lesson this week as you go about answering one of those questions for the tic-tac-toe board. This is a fiction book, so you will be answering one of the questions from the fiction section. I hope to see you all soon and that you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! All right, I hope you enjoyed the story of the rainbow fish. And here is a set of the questions in case they are not in your um, packet that you can pick from. Remember, the rainbow fish is a fiction story, so you're going to be using the top block. So this week and so forth, when we are reading stories, you'll answer one question a day for the story that I read to you. And you'll want to do three in a row to do your tic-tac-toe. All right, have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.